We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Black Series figure review. We're looking at Balan Skull. Uh, finally, has arrived in my possession. I've been looking forward to this one a lot. Um, is one of my favorite new characters from the Ahsoka series, so I'm um, very eager to get this one in hand. I know there are a few issues with with scale, um, so I, at some point after the review, I will be doing the uh, the leg swap uh, that Land Speeder Luke had done, um, just to give the character the height <laughs> the character deserves. Because, um, yeah, for whatever reason, Balin and Shin are both six inch figures and, and you know their measure are both at six inches in height not necessarily to the scale um so it, it's it's a bit strange it's a bit strange that one so i'm gonna have to do some little bit of fixing but it'll be worth it to having a character like this uh looking the way it should be betrayed the nice image on the side there i don't think it really looks like ray stevenson um it almost reminds me of what a you know, uh, like an expanded universe painting from a book cover or something would look like if they portrayed him. Picture of Balin on the back. And uh, yeah, there's the figure in the box. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to, to bust him open. So let's do exactly that and take a look at the figure. Before I start, if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. All right, folks, here is Balin's skull out of the packaging. And overall, I'm, you know, really glad to have this figure and this character in my collection. I think he looks really good. Yeah, he is going to have some fixes. I'm going to do that after the review. Um, you know, check out Landspeeder Luke's uh, YouTube channel. He does a little bit of a tutorial on how to fix that. Um, he doesn't have a tutorial, but he does explain what he did to fix that. Um, basically, I'll, I'll run through it. He basically uses uh, Reaver's legs. Um, they're a little bit longer than that. Um, so he was able to just, you know, do the old boil and pop, switch, switch, switch from the uh, the thighs down to the knees. And then, uh, yeah, the, her, her legs were just nice and simple to use. So, But I'm here to talk about the figure we, we have given, been given. So I'm going to talk about that. First of all, we've got his lightsaber hilt, which... I really like his lightsaber hilt. There's something. There we go. As well as his sort of fighting style, there's something very sort of medieval feeling about it. Um, whether it's not, it's just, it's just the hilt. You know, you you kind of imagine this being a broadsword or some point in regards to his fighting style. Anyway, uh, the blade itself is really long um it's definitely is more of an orange in comparison to a red and i did bring darth malgus his lightsaber over here so the blades a similar length yeah it, it's it's kind of more red um it is red but it's I don't know, I find it's it's probably a little bit more of a sort of a cloudier plastic, whereas Malgus is, is a little bit more translucent. So I'd say that's probably probably the difference there, but it works for me. I'm not too fussy. Um, but yeah, they were... The lightsaber blades were indeed an orange colour. Um, usually the hilt, really sort of soft... Soft, wobbly plastic, almost curving around on itself. That's a little bit of a bummer, to be honest. Because compared to that one, that's got no flex in it at all. What was that one? Yeah. That's that is, that's that's a slight little bummer there. Silly, that makes softer plastic, so you can get rid of the the blade. And there is a little hook on there that should hang on his belt. It will, it looks good, but yeah, I don't know. I'm a little bit bummed about the uh, lack of sturdiness in that hilt. That's, you know, when you can sort of bend it around on itself, that's a little bit, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think Balin Skull here probably had the potential to be one of the figures of the year. Um, but little things like that have just fallen short. Uh, no pun intended there, of course. We'll take a look at his head sculpt. 
Now that looks pretty good. I, I like the look. That's that's captured the likeness. I've seen a few people boil his head a little bit and just sort of push the cheeks in a little bit just to give him a little bit more, um, a little less width to his cheeks, I guess. Just helps with his uh, head shape a little bit. And I'll probably do the same. You know, it's an easy fix. But I think it's a good likeness. I, th I like the beard. I think it looks good. And just the way, just tilting the head. You get a lot of... You get the sort of sternness about him. And I like the way the hair's coloured on the top. It looks good. Through the armor. I do see myself wanting to sort of mute that sort of blue aqua sort of color to the to the armor a little bit. Maybe just a little bit of a, you know, like a matte black. So sort of just rub over it or try and remove some of it with some acetone or nail polish remover or something just to, just to dull that down a little bit. I mean, it's good. It looks fine. Like it's, you know, adds a little bit of depth to, to something that could potentially just be a flat color. But, um, yeah, in certain lights, it just looks a little bit too, too much greeniness to it. Take a look at his belt there. I like the details of the buckle. That looks good. And on the back. I was talking about having a real medieval feel about his armor. Definitely, definitely comes across that feeling. It was very much like knightly, I guess. It's got gauntlets on both arms. It's sort of the, not the soft goods, but the sort of bottom side of his skirt, I guess. Underneath, this is sort of plain. Plain trousers and legs, which again, you know, probably is is the downside here is those legs just being a little bit too short. I will do a comparison in a moment. So he's wearing a ring, which apparently is like a black obsidian ring, similar to what Snoke wears in... Uh, the Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, so whether there's some long-term seed or link being planted or whether it's just another sort of dark side artifact that Balin has collected over his years in the galaxy. Uh, Shin armor. Looks good. Overall, he's a nice looking figure nice um but i'm going to do a little size comparison here so i'm just going to stand him back a little bit and i'm going to bring in two big boys obviously malgus he is the biggest black series boy obviously and he is tall like this is a big figure and um i didn't expect balin to be that tall and uh here is darth malik he's sort of is in between them and maybe Balin isn't quite as tall as Malik but he could be sort of closer to that you know he is an imposing figure um, and personally I just feel like it sort of discredits the character a little bit when you're trying to bring him in action figure form because uh, you know Ray Stevenson certainly had a commanding presence um, very much had that sort of gravitas of a Count Dooku or even even Peter Cushing as Grand Moff Tarkin, some of those not to call him elderly, but those, those sort of statesmen and actors, those you know, those I don't know, there's something something about those those ca characters and the actors that portrayed them that really commanded a lot of presence on screen and I think you know, I think Valen certainly had that that presence on screen. He was fantastic. Um so yeah, he definitely needed to be a little bit taller, but um, it is what it is. And the other thing that could have added to this figure, as well as Shin, um, who I still don't have yet, that one is on its way, 
um, is obviously a robe. Um, he doesn't wear one the whole time in the series. Uh, it's, a, it's a small addition that would have benefited the figure a great deal, I think. Um, so, yeah. Especially from that opening scene. That was a, that was a A-class moment. And the sort of way the hood sort of draped over. Adding to the mystery of these characters and their backgrounds. But overall, I'm pretty damn happy with, to have Balin in the collection. I've got a spare. I've got a spare Reaver, so I'm going to do that leg swap. Um, I'm going to check out some other spare figures I've got laying around, see if there's anything that might be a little bit more suitable. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be the the best bet. It seems to work for a lot of people, just to get Balin's height up there a little bit. Um, articulation, we won't miss that. Uh, he has the double barbell in the top of the head. He has a joint in the bottom of the neck, so you get good range of movement all around. Ball hinge in the shoulders and doesn't have the typical butterfly joint, but is the sort of they're doing the sort of ball and socket within the arm and having that sort sort of ring in there to allow that extra movement just to sort of fill that void. So anyway, it is a butterfly joint, but different. Um, ball hinge in the elbows, ball hinge in the wrists. No, ball socket. So they are definitely moving towards that that peg system. For the hands, which is good. I, I don't mind that at all. Because it does get a, get rid of the uh, the look of those hinges in the wrist. So that's good. I'm okay with that. That's fine. Uh, joint in the lower torso there. Upper thighs. No swivel in the thighs. Joint in the knee. And ankle hinge. And rocker joint there. Just trying to get it to focus. There we go. get him holding his lightsaber and hopefully it doesn't go all Herbert the pervert from Family Guy it's a long blade I've, since some people say it might be a little bit too long um, I'll, I'll reassess once I've got his the height of the figure up a little bit so we can get him up a little bit more maybe the long blade might be suited to Malik a little bit more and might do the might do the swap I think I'm going to do that anyway. But there's Balin Skull. I'd love to hear your thoughts, folks. You know, uh, you know, probably a, a good figure that has sort of, I don't know, execution probably, probably five or six out of ten uh, for a character that probably could have had the potential to be a ten out of ten figure. Absolutely. Um, the execution just not really, really captured with this one. But like I said, I still love it. I'm still happy he's going to stand at the front of the shelf. Um, love the character. Can't wait to see where his story goes. But um, yeah, hopefully a little bit incentive for Hasbro just to just a little bit more. Whether it was a mix up, a lot of people said you know maybe the factory um, has been told you know scale these at six six inches and they've been taking it a little bit too uh, a little bit too seriously rather than six inch scale who knows who knows what the issue is there that's just some talk that's been thrown around but yeah love Balin can't wait to see more of him hope you've enjoyed this review folks and uh, stay tuned got some more coming up and uh, we'll see you on the next one until then may the force be with you always